Adriano Santos against Julio Paul Harris. Santos. So our referee, Fernando Yamasaki, is ready to get the preliminary fight going. Pronto. Pronto. Oh, and here we go, preliminary matchup number two. And already Santos in the white trunks looks to be a very active fighter in great condition. And they close the gap quite quickly. And it's Santos getting a quick takedown. He used double underhooks and whipped them back and forth. Pajaros. Pajaros there immediately puts him in the guard, legs up, wrapped around the body. I guess the question that has to be asked, partner, is how good will a guard be for a man like Tulio Parheros, who is more of a boxer, Chinese boxing, kung fu type fighter? We'll only have time to find out. 12 minutes here in the preliminary matchup, and they're back down to the mat again. Santos again being able to take him down to the ground. Two takedowns now. These two look a lot more skilled than the first fight. They immediately know what to do. Santos caught in a closed guard. He just let his feet unlock, so now it's just a, a guard. Paul Harris here doing a nice job of covering up, preventing Santos from raising up and striking. How much? But it's interesting, the person you would think would be the, the striker understands the guard pretty well. He's looking to grab a leg here. See if he knows some submission skills. Will an arm or a leg become exposed for Adriano Santos, the jiu-jitsu specialist, to try to take advantage of here? Oh, a good drive. Paul oh, Harros with a good move a second ago. Now he encounters a quick jab to his own chin from oh. Adriano Santos. Harris here has got Santos's right leg wrapped. Let's see if he goes for some kind of a lock on the ankle. Maybe an Achilles, but Santos gets the leg out. Looking for the side mount now. Side mount achieved. Gets a half guard back, now the full guard. Never got a chance to do anything once he mounted him. Impressive on the ground in that move, Jeff? It was nice how he passed it, but he didn't follow through, so it was really a waste of energy. He was, should have tried well, to capitalize. Well, well, well. And Paul Harros got him right back into a position where he can defend himself from his backside in the most meaningful fashion. They seem to be fighting under Brazilian rules. Fernando Yamasaki stopped him from kicking there with his heels. Technically, that could be a foul under UFC rules. But these fighters down here are allowed to kick on the ground. Right. That is the Brazilian way of Ballet Tudo. Ballet Tudo, Luta Livre, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, all fighting disciplines and types of competition with great spirited long backgrounds. They understand the ground game down here in Brazil, where in the United States the ground game is not as well understood. Oh, some good rights delivered a moment ago by Adriano Santos. Well, Harrell's back up, and he takes a left chop. And now he throws his opponent down. But watch out, the neck is exposed. Guillotine there. They're very good, though, at being able to keep good head position so it doesn't really choke. You turn your head towards the crook of the elbow to help relieve the pressure. His arm also seems to be in there, and his chin seems, the, the lock seems to be near the chin, which means it's really around the neck. And certainly that is uncomfortable. Really can't be offensive there. It's kind of an energy burn for Adriano Santos to maintain that position. And the One third of the way through our allotted time period of 12 minutes, and we've seen some good exchanges already. Both of these guys obviously know this Whoa. game. What a move! Muscled Reversal. him right over. Muscled him right over. But again, he is down, and again, he is caught in that same position. The arm is in the lock, so it's not as tight. It's not a full guillotine where you're just around the neck by itself. The arm is in there, what we call a front headlock in wrestling. But it is preventing Julio Paul Harris from being able to be offensive in the guard. They're going to get stood up. They're going to get stood up. So Fernando Yamasaki 
knows the rules of the USC. Oh, and there is not a lot of action, if you will, happening in a stalled mount or guard position. The fighters get back up and try to exchange strikes. And I agree with the call simply because Santos never let go of the head and prevented Paul Harris from being able to rise up and begin to try some form of technique. And if you're just going to hang on and keep the action from going, that's a good call. You can tell Santos has good quickness. He's got a lot of bounce in his step. Will that become an advantage? And these fires, fighters don't seem to be tiring either. Santos appears to be in excellent physical condition, and Paul Harris goes high with a left yeah. kick. Good looking strike. Now we look to sweep the leg. Come on, come on, come on. Paul Harris starting to feel good about striking opportunities. Breathing with his mouth open. If he gets caught with a punch, he could lose his mouthpiece. Oh, he tried to deliver the left. Graze the side of his opponent's face. Oh, he tried again high that time. Santos was ready, and now with the right. We're halfway through. Not afraid to strike with either leg. Santos snuck in for a moment and grazed one off. Paljeros' chin. Oh, a good takedown. Side mount. Paljeros well, seemed to have that distance measured. It was getting oh. oh, big shot with the left knee. And now you see Santos locking his hands, trying to keep Paul Harris from being able to raise up and strike. Elbow down and side and back of the head. It was a good couple of minutes there, Jeff. Exchanges on the feet, and then they go to the ground. And again, both show fine skills. Once again, these seem to be the ballet to do rules. Yep. Elbowing to the back of the head is illegal in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Now, with the last 90 seconds or so, Paul Harrells would seem to be the leader in the judges' estimation in our match thus far. And down goes his opponent, Adriano Santos, again. Santos appears to be fatigued, and rightfully so. But jiu-jitsu guys know to stay patient when they're in the guard, Jeff, and that is where our former champion, Hoist Gracie, used to regain his energy when his opponent was on top of him. That is correct. He would go ahead and try to get that man to move to try to get out and waste tons of energy just to get out of the guard. And as he fatigued, he started to make mistakes or through frustration not being able to get out, make mistakes, leaving an arm behind or stepping up with a leg and leaving the ankle exposed so that the jiu-jitsu practitioner has an opportunity to apply submission. Four minutes left now. Once again, he's grabbed the head, a technique that worked last time in getting Santos back to his feet. It prevents Paul Harris from being able to raise up and create space to strike. Side mount. Using the knee now, watch him put it in the stomach. Now this is what he'll do to try to get his head out, raise up and create the space he needs to go ahead and strike down. But a lot of, what tenacity that Santos has, he's not letting go of that head. He's gonna keep it there and try to immobilize Maharas full mount now. Incremental victories here, right partner? You just try to, you can't pull the head out of the headlock. You just have to go little by little, gain your leverage, and now he's able to break it, and now trying to strike from the mount position. And he go, just, go, go, looks go, like go. he's gonna give him his back. And there it is. It is over. Fernando Yamasaki has awarded the victory to Tulio Panjaras. 8.59, the time in which the fight was stopped. And Paul Harris showing great skill on the ground. The Chinese boxer being able to go ahead, get side mount, work into a full mount, break the immobilization tactic by Santos, and then rain blows down. Santos had no answer, just covered up, unable to defend himself, fight stop. Good fight. Good job done by both fighters here tonight. 
And there you see the punches, and he actually turned his back, gave Paul Harris his back. And at that point, Yamasaki stepped in saying, you're not defending yourself. We're not going to let you get struck like that. Fight ends.